the whereabouts of 50-year-old Iso Ogunshemori, who was kidnapped in his family's compound in Ibokoda, Undo State, has remained unknown since last December. The father of 18 children was abducted when he visited his father during the festive period by some armed men who invaded the building. His abduction, as gathered, occurred four months after his father was ordered to vacate the family house by a relative with a threat to incur the latter's wrath if the directive was not heeded. Speaking with journalists on the abduction at Songota Ogun State, legal practitioner and human rights activist Chief Mrs. Ajose Kelubia explained that sometimes in August 2021, she was briefed of a case of serial robbery, attempted murder, stealing and kidnapping, which she says happened in the family house of Aaron Ogunshemori in Igbokoda, Undo State, and to help intervene to ensure justice was served. I was briefed of a case of serial robbery, attempted murder, stealing, kidnapping, which happened to the family of Mr. Aaron Ogunshemori, all far in the way of Igbokoda, on those states to help intervene in this matter and see justice being served. This incident happened on the 1st of December 2021 when some thugs, hoodlums, and some family members of Timothy Ogushemori invaded the family house of Aaron Ogushemori at Okoga in Igbokoda, on those states. It was in the afternoon. They came en masse in hundreds shooting sporadically into the air, pursuing people with clusters, cutlasses, hands, calling out on Mr. Aaron to come out and face them if they will not kill him. These thugs were identified as Bamitale Iwatson, Mayowa Iletuwa, Shegun Ogushemori, Benga Ogushemori, Rire Ayorinde, and others now at large. As this was ongoing, one Mr. Isha Ogusemori, the son of Mr. Aaron Ogusemori, came to Igbokoda that very day to come and see his parents and siblings. He was kidnapped as he was running. Being a big man, he was shot at the leg and dragged into the bush. There in the presence of his wife, father, sisters, aunties, uncles, brothers, and some villagers by these same hulums known as Tale, Mayowa, Shegu, Ogo, Benga, and their cohorts. She further lamented that despite her showing up at the first CID Alagbon in Lagos, neither the complainant nor herself as their lawyer was contacted before the suspects were arraigned in Akure Undo State. She added that before the kidnapping of Esau, the police had arrested two of the suspected leaders of the thugs for threatening Esau's father with firearms. As only Shegu and Rire was arrested, they came from Alagbon to go and arrest them in Ondo State. Despite my showing up at the Alagbon for CID, I was cut off the camera, I was cut off the scene, I was cut off the show as they went and arrange these same suspects in Odo State without informing me that I've represented them as their family lawyer or the complainants themselves. We were cut off. Father of the abducted man, Aaron Ogunshimori, told Super Screen Television that the family compound in dispute belongs to him, being the eldest son of Ogunshimori. He stated that Esau's kidnap could not be unconnected with the dispute over the compound, noting that since his kidnap in December 2021, no ransom has been demanded. I do not know that they are far, far above the law and nothing can be done. But Mr. Iso is still at large. He's still being kidnapped and he's still in the custody of kidnappers who have been identified by family, by Shegu himself, to the family claiming he kidnapped them until this house and some pieces of land is given up to him. He will never release Esau that was kidnapped. We are on this note calling on the Director of Public Prosecution on those states, the Ondo State Judiciary, the Attorney General of Ondo State and the Nigerian government as a whole to help intervene in the family of Aaron Ogushemori and see to the release of Esau who has two wives 
and over and 18 children to cater for. He's the head of the family and the sole provider of this family.